Hey there, I'm meteorologist Cheetah Craft. Let's talk Saharan dust. This happens every year, and typically June, July, and August is when it peaks. And right on time, that's what's happening right now. So a big push off the Saharan desert is, of course, that sand. And then it becomes into particles, travels across the Atlantic. Yeah, can you believe between three to 5,000 feet across the Atlantic Basin into the Caribbean? Now, as it holds together, it's uh, traveling around five to 20,000 feet in the atmosphere. At its peak height, it can travel in the same airway as planes do. As it moves across the Caribbean, what I'm expecting for the end of the week, watch the timestamp here. So I'm going to get you into Wednesday. Watch how most of that dust holds together, stays fairly concentrated. And then as I get to late Thursday into Friday, I think that's when we start to get our first push that first wave potentially across the Texas coastline. Now, I will say compared to about a day or two ago, this breaks apart just a little bit. So it may not be as concentrated as what I thought. Getting into Saturday, though, that's when I think you're going to wake up with your sunrise, seeing some haze draped across the skyline. It can make for kind of reddish or burnt sunrises or sunsets. The same will go right for your sunset even Saturday evening. Now, if it's concentrated and dense enough, it can impact our air quality. A day like today, Today, we have great air quality, okay? It's at good levels. That's what the green is. As I broaden out the scope across the map and into Louisiana, notice it's green across Louisiana. However, once you get into Austin, San Antonio, now that is just typical daytime heating, moderate levels there as far as your air quality goes. N not many people will notice anything once you're at that moderate stage. When people start to feel the impacts of air quality is typically when it gets to the orange or the bad for sensitive groups. That's when it, become, it can be a little bit more sensitive if you have asthma, if you have emphysema, if you have any type of respiratory illness. That's when you may want to keep it inside with the air conditioning going and maybe limit your outdoor activities. Now that can happen if that dust, those particles stay condensely uh, condensely packed. And that may happen by Saturday. I think Friday that first push comes in, but Saturday that may impact you. Of course, we will keep you posted right here. The good news is air quality is good for today, and I'm forecasting that for tomorrow as well.